Louisville's interim police chief takes on a department with battered public trust facing federal sanctions and down hundreds of officers as homicides rise. WDRB's Dakota Sherrick asked Jacqueline Gwynne Bilaroel how she will handle these problems. A week on the job, interim chief Jacqueline Gwynne Bilaroel has seen 10 homicides in the first 10 days of the year. No one should be in a position where they're losing a loved one. Gwynne Bilaroel believes the key to driving down violence is everyone working together. We're having um, division among anyone, it doesn't serve the purpose in moving in a great way, in a great direction in which we need to be, um, because everybody should be feel safe in Louisville, period. Public distrust in LMPD still lingers after police killed Breonna Taylor. No! Breonna! And amid the ongoing Department of Justice investigation that's followed, Gwyn Bilaroel hopes to improve trust and transparency by going out into the community, opening the door for tough conversations. So they can ask us those questions, why we do what we do, when we do it, how we do it. Those, those are conversations that need to be had. And so you'll see a lot more of that. How, how critical do you feel that is to, to go into the barbershop, to go into the church and meet people where they are? Oh, it's critical. It's critical because, again, we need to dismantle distrust. Um, and one of the ways you can dismantle distrust is by communication and actually education. The current federal investigation many expect to lead to a consent decree, a mandated contract with the federal government that will change LMPD, setting a timeline for measurable reforms overseen by someone outside the department. We'll just be ready for when it does and then we'll digest it and then um, we'll move forward with it. The department must move forward despite its shortfall. LMPD is down nearly 300 officers. We are working on that every day and we're actually working on our marketing strategies and how can we actually recruit better. A long list of challenges, ones Gwen Bilaroel hopes to tackle head on. Are you in the running to be permanently chief? Yes, I, I'm going to be considered and will consider taking on that role. So, uh, like I said before, uh, I want to make sure that I'm the right fit for the administration, for the mayor, a right fit for the community, and definitely the right fit for LMPD. With photojournalist Josh Horton, Dakota Sherrick, WDRB News.